That's what I'm going to start the show with. Just you going. Let's have a sing off. What a way to open the show. I'm not having a sing off with you. Why? You know <laughs> you're not uh, no. Scared? Um, you scared of singing with me on the mean streets? <laughs> In the main streets where we sing in the alleyways. <sighs> it's like the real like, West Side Story. Yeah, ever. it's like West Side Story. Yeah. I'm like uh, from a 50s musical where. Where shit gets real. You don't understand what like. life's like out there. You can't get by unless you can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> Not fucking true, mate. Hey, hey man. Because hey, I'd man. like to do something where. I had to tap my way out of it. <laughs> yeah. Like, so many situations, man. Where shit gets rough, I just. I just tip. Really? <laughs> I had to sell cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I like to have something where it's like a person that's like, I had to sing so I could survive. And then the other person is just like, I'm a fucking meth dealer. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. Oh, boy. It's a wonderful waste of time. 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 Hello and welcome to the <laughs> seventh. Is this the seventh? I think it's the seventh. Yeah, it's the seventh, but that was great. <laughs> Siete. This is the seventh. Uh, episode of the podcast. <laughs> Saying it in another language does not excuse the fact you forgot how to count. Siete. <laughs> Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Seven. Yeah. Anyway, yes. hello and welcome to the seventh episode, as I already said, but I fucked it up slightly. Uh, we're going to be doing the version of the show where we do categories this time. So we do it on the spin of the world to see who's talking categories. about a thing. And then we do a spin for the categories and then you pick something within that category. That's how this works. So I pick the category. You don't go back to the categories <laughs> again. Now is not the time. That episode is done. And hey, to start off, we must always say not for a, a shout out to Studio 3, which is where we're recording. But, you can look them up, but, search Studio 3 Arts, but... Hang tight to Studio 3 Hang tight. Hang, hang tight. tight to see, you know hang mean? tight. Obviously, absolutely. Is that your like... Out there, you know what I mean? Like, hang tight. You know? no, hang tight. Hang tight. Hang tight. Hang tight. Hang tight. Is yeah. that what you say? Yeah, oh, I thought you were trying to say hashtag, hashtag and said it really oh, weird. No, no, no. I said hang tight. Hang tight. Hag tat Studio 3. Hag tat, man. Hag tat the mang them, innit? The mang them. Not the mang them. The mang them. Hag tat. Anyways, yeah, so. Um, also, like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz for us. Oh, yeah, as man. well as Studio 3. And comment about what you're listening about, innit? You know? Wow. Just tell us. Just fins, innit? Tell us your opinions while we're talking about it. Well, don't do it while we're talking about things. Save it to the end. Also. In case we bring up what we were talking about. Also, I really want to know what you had for dinner. <laughs> So, uh, no, you don't need to ask that every week. No, but it, like there's a week know. gap between these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last week you should have said what you had for dinner. This week it will be something else. You can give them okay. a different. Well, no, we'll week. give them at the end. But I'm just remembering. Yeah. I'm but just yeah, no. Them about but you should have said what you had for dinner. Yeah. Uh, in, in the comments for the last episode, and we'd tell you about whether yeah, you had a good dinner or not. Yeah. Because your opinion of how good your dinner was is inferior to ours. Well, no, do you know what it is? Gordon Ramsay's been doing this thing. And I know he's like a world-celebrated chef. Say, say his so name his, right. his opinion. It's not Gordon Ramsay, it's Gordon Ramsay. Okay, sorry. You have to do the hand the, thing. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to say his name just for the fact that I don't want to move my hands. Um, so so that, that famous chef is Gordon doing Ramsay. Doing I'll do it for you. <laughs> so, you say Gordon Ramsay, I'll do the slap. So Gordon Ramsay... Is on Twitter telling people to send their um, send their pictures of their dinners to Gordon so Ramsay. So he can slag them off. Go, to Gordon Ramsay. So basically, so Gordon Ramsay can slag them off. Because that's what Gordon Ramsay does. <laughs> yeah, that's his career. Yeah, that's about what it does. It's just kind of sharpening things that people and cooks. Yeah. Um, but we're going to judge your dinner. Dinner? Dinner. Yeah, we're going to judge a, your, your dinner. Gin dinner. <laughs> <laughs> just a really alcoholic dinner. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'll judge that, man. It yeah. sounds like someone's getting mental. Uh, we'll judge yeah. what you had for dinner last week, but this week we'll be judging something else. Uh, but we'll decide what that is at the end. It's <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Your personality, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> um, just everyone, no matter what they tell you about themselves, just everyone you sucks. You suck. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. Yeah. You suck. <laughs> you suck so much. <laughs> Um, so we've got to start with doing the wheel to see who's wheel picking the category. So let's spin that wheel right now. So you finally. It's been so long. It's been me. No Mew, the Pokemon. It's, it's Mew's turn to pick. Oh, what about Mew too. No, he's. No. <laughs> Mew, I'm Mew too. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Okay, it's me. Yay. Yay. Um, so so let's sort out which topic you're going to be picking oh, from. topic. Go. <laughs> and stop. Anything. Ah! There you go. I can the talk first, about the anything. First time, yeah, you can talk about anything. Do you know what, it doesn't have to even fit into one but of the characters. Anything, it could be yeah. anything you want to talk anything about. Anything is. It could be Gordon so... Ramsay. Go- I was going to say Gordon Ramsay. That's going to sound really shitty on the microphone well, every time I've done Gordon that. Ramsay. Cut. Gordon Ramsay. Cut. Let's see. Okay, I'll stop saying Gordon Ramsay. Okay, that's the last time I say Gordon Ramsay. Um, <laughs> I'm disappeared that one, aren't you? No, I was going to say Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> All right, anything. Stop um, now. <laughs> yeah, I was going to stop. I was going to stop. Um, um, so you can pick whatever you want. Uh, too much freedom. <laughs> this is too much freedom. Too much freedom. I don't know. Ah, I've got too many Gordon options. Ramsay. You're like a kid um, in a candy store who has fainted because there's too much choice. Um, just, just as a, just as a sidebar, because I really like this lyric. Right? But who so knew that, own, that yeah. was the candy store yeah. owner's plan yeah. all along? Whoa, that's a really dark and pedophilic. He's a kidnapper, like a proper kidnapper no, who African kidnaps kid. kids. Yeah, not not, 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 not a baby kidnapper. goats. Not, not baby like goats. A, no, no, I mean, not he doesn't sleep on baby goats. He oh, steals okay. children. It's, so it's, it's, he's not the good kind of kidnapper. He's not the good, no, good kind of kidnapper. No, who just likes to watch goats sleep? Why goats? Because baby goats are called kids. Ah, oh. he just likes to cuddle up with them and sleep. Oh, baby humans. Who's the kidnapper? Well. Look at my goats. Well, I mean, baby he's the bad kind. Good. He's stealing children. Ah, oh, real children. Yeah, not goats. Not goat children. But real children. Oh, wow. Real children. Yeah. What were you going to say about those lyrics right there? Uh yeah, it was um. Uh, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, it wasn't about Gordon Ramsay. The back of your hands got a bit red, which I find hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> it really has. I haven't looked at it. Yeah. It's gone really, really red. Right. I may just keep saying Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> just for that. Why am I contractually <laughs> yeah. obligated to do this? You got yourself so trapped in this, man. No, it was um, it's, not, no, it's, it's less relevant now. But I was gonna say because you said kid in the candy store. Um, there's a uh, fifty cent. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 no, it's uh, one of my lyrics. Is uh, it's uh, one of my own, uh, which is like a pick and mix with only one option. A pure bag of lies. There we go. Um, like a pick and mix with only one option, not a pick and mix. Yeah, basically. That's why it's a pure bag of lies, because it's a bag of lies, because yeah. it's not a pick and mix. It's just one option. So you don't get to pick or mix, you fuckers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like a pick and mix with no options. A regular bag of sweets. <laughs> a regular bag of sweets. <laughs> <laughs> No, a very Harry both star regular <laughs> bag of sweet. Oh, nice. No, because there's only, only one, one sweet in the bag. One, no, that's a lie. One. That's a big lie. It's like when you that's open a, a bag of crisps and there's only and a quarter literally. of the packet full no, up. That's like every crisp packet as you've come to accept it. What right, with so, a gum? Anything? That's crazy, man. Mm. Can, can you help me out in this one? I feel like I feel like. You know what? Let me look. What do you mean? My, um, well, can I help you? Is so much. You yeah, have yeah, a list yeah. of things. Pick yeah. anything off your list that you oh, want yeah. to do. Yeah, might as well just do that, isn't it? Like that's. that's if you can't really think of work. anything else, if there's nothing specific, there's like an extra thing that you want to talk um, about that doesn't fit into a category. Okay. Um, if we go through, um, <laughs> like, I mean, you know, what? I, could, I could just talk about some poems. I like, you know, like. Music but, and poetry is one yeah, of the categories. Yeah, no, they like some, yeah, some music and poetry. But then, when it comes to music and poetry... Then what do you do what then? What do I do? Maybe right. you think of something else and out. plan I'll, ahead for the I'll show. I'll tell because it's, it's just actually very interesting. It's, it's not as... Um, it's not as... It's just quite interesting. So I've done my um, dissertation on um, the effects of colonialism and African art. 
and uh, that was really interesting. It's wow, we're there. in for a fun episode. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not something that you can like. It's not the most lighthearted conversation in the world, but it's and, really. And I tell you what, I'm it's... fucking riveted already. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is what you wrote about for your dissertation. Yeah, man. I'm in. Yeah, Subscribe. yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, we're not going to go through that. But if anyone Uni anyone... work, hold on now. No, but you know what's really interesting, man? It's just the tactics they use when, like, it's, it's some crazy stuff, man. Like, uh, okay, we're, we're going to very briefly skim over this. I have anything to talk about, so I can talk about anything, right? So, how about this? Skim over... You don't know, no, no, how about this? You're saying you don't know what to talk about. Yeah. And you don't feel like you could talk about this for that long. Oh, no, or do you, I mean, I could talk do you about think you prefer... Yeah. Okay, then. That's but, fine. Like, but it's, 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 you know, it's just one of those conversations. It's a bit, it's a bit much, isn't it? But it's like, up to you. If you want to talk yeah. about it, let's talk about it. No, nah, no, nah, I mean, I just wanted to skim over it because I thought it was pretty cool. And skim but, over uh, it. Um, skim away. Uh, no, it's all right now. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I'm not even going to go into it. <laughs> we're, we're just going to change subjects. <laughs> this is what happens when you give me freedom. It's, it's like, been, a, like... It's been six minutes since I started the timer, That's right. and you haven't picked a topic That's all yet. Right. Six minutes. Six minutes of someone like deciding is normal, right? That's no, like, it's um, not. No. Usually, it's like less than a minute. Oh, wow. Pick wow. a thing, or I'm going to spin know. the wheel again and force you into category because um, you clearly can't handle such freedom. I know, man. I, it's like I wasn't made for this. Uh. You're not a decision maker. <laughs> uh, all right, right, right. What right. do you want to talk about at this very moment in time? What is in your head um, that needs to come out that's not depressing? Hey, yo, it's not depressing. Or interesting depressing. It's acceptable. Yeah, like, no, the films to be fair, I want to talk like, about a whole, a whole conversation about colonialism is a bit dark right now. Yep. It's, 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 it's the not, moon kind, it's not, and, which as we said the before, platform is the fun kind of colonialism. Moment. There's a fun type of colonialism. Oh, the moon, going to yeah, Mars. Going to other countries. NASA um, recently announced that they were going to go to uh, um, next worlds and start colonizing their lands as well. So, ne- good next luck. Next worlds. Yeah, yeah, good luck, NASA. Um, so, so that's, that's nice no, NASA have recently announced that they've discovered some planets that are similar size yeah, to yeah, Earth yeah, yeah, that yeah. may be hospitable and at one point in time we may be able yeah, to go that's, to. That's, that's, they've not said, like, tomorrow we're packing up well, and no, fucking up. Them, no, them, 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 say, them saying that like, the possibility <laughs> of living on another planet is going to happen isn't them saying we're going to suddenly... We've evolve. already been saying, I'm no, involved. Yeah, what, they, Me, yeah, NASA, yeah. Elon Musk, we get together Oh, yeah, yeah, week. Exactly, yeah, you just have your... Who at NASA? Several people. Brunch. We have our brunch. Yeah. Oh, on a Monday. Because Mondays are the best days. Because it's the life. worst day for me because I've got to advertise the podcast because it uh, comes out every Monday as all the listeners know. <laughs> um, so I'm constantly there like, we need to talk to you about us colonising other planets. So I'm like, I've got a post on Facebook. Oh man, it's crazy, um, it's crazy. So but we've been talking about colonising Mars for quite a while, especially Elon Musk and SpaceX have. Uh, I believe NASA has been talking about it as well. But yes, the idea of finding other planets that are even further away that aren't. I think it's more that this is a big step in saying not just colonizing another planet, but colonizing yeah. somewhere in a different solar system. Yeah, yeah. That um, is a big old leap. That's somewhere that would be yeah, much any, further than I. I think we'll be going to Mars before we end up going there. Mars is, a good, <laughs> Mars is probably a good tester before jumping to another I guess, yeah, system. go to go to your neighbour's house before you, um, you know, jump across or the... Or planetary system, I suppose it's not the yeah. solar system. Solar specifically refers to our system, because our sun is called Sol. Little oh, tidbit there for you. Oh, that's interesting. That's why it's the solar system. Ah, oh, so, yes. so, so another system another would be around system. the sun, so it would be another planetary, celestial uh, system. Celestial? That might be the wrong one. Celestial sun. No, that's, that's like a cluster of stars. Yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. a celestial body. No, but another planetary system. Okay. Pick a motherfucking category. Right, it's been cool. like 10 yeah, minutes. So, uh, and I'm not calling go... this colonialism yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah, space yeah, yeah, travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, we're, we're gonna Pick go, a definitive one. We're going to go with anime. Now you've got I've, 20 I've minutes recently, to talk I've about recently something. Been watching, um, I've recently been watching um, Hunter x Hunter, right? Yeah. So this is what really... So I have... This, this, there's two animes that have done this to me, which is basically I've started watching them in um, English dub, purely so I'm able to do work in the background while mm. I've got the anime up. Yeah. So, and the thing is, they get really good. So the two that started to me is Hunter x Hunter and Full Metal Alchemist, right? Yeah. And like, I don't mind watching anime in sub. 
I I mm. regularly keep up with One Piece, like you know, Naruto, the ones that like to be up to date. You're gonna have yeah. to watch it and sub, but that's because I've, I'm committed to them now, right? But Hunter X Hunter and um, Full Metal Alchemist, they caught me off guard. Mm. Do you know why? Because I didn't think they were gonna be that good. Yeah. Good to the point where I have to drop my work and now watch it. You sub give it your full like, attention. Yeah, like they've they've they've. But it's just this annoying thing about like. Just because because this anime is made in Japan, you will get so many where you get the dubbed version up to a certain season, and then it stops. And then because it stops. it's not been dubbed yet. Yeah, and then you, if you want yeah. to follow this thing that you've invested the last three evenings of your life to, yeah, you know what I mean, binge watching, you have to then go um some, which some people feel like okay, that's 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 not a big issue, right? What does sub me? All right, yeah. So obviously, sub <laughs> sub will be subtitled anime. So it's, um, it's the original. The characters are speaking Japanese. You got the subtitles in English, and dub <laughs> would be an original <laughs> Japanese piece which has been dubbed over with English actors speaking English. Thank you for clearing that. Carry that's on. Okay, just that's in case okay. there was somebody now, that was just like, "What the fuck is this? What, what's this guy I don't talking watch about? Anime. What is sub and dub? Yeah, yeah. So, Subscribe. Yeah, and dub, <laughs> dub dive. Dub dive. Dub dive. Though you don't want to be dub diving. Um, right, so I'm guessing some people are listening to me and thinking, well, what, why is that an issue? Right? Like, there are a lot of people that I, argue about it on the internet. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, the, the, the whole, the whole, like, um, the whole kind of dub versus something, it, it is an actual argument. It is another but, wonderful, pathetic internet argument about nothing that's not important. Uh, but you know what, though? When, when you invest into a show in a dubbed... On the, I get on the, in a personal way... Of going, why can't I watch it in this format that I like? I get it's that not... as an argument, but saying, oh, you watch it like this, you're a fucking loser. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, is yeah, pathetic. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I don't really care how other people watch their anime. Like, <laughs> like you know, where do you prefer? That is not important. Um, <laughs> it should not but... be important to you as a viewer how other people are watching it, unless they tell you they watch it backwards on mute, upside down while underwater. And I'll then, you, then you can say, that would be either. impressive, but you're like, you're not really watching the show, are you? No. <laughs> like, then then you can be like, well, well, there, mate, yeah. you're not really watching the show. But to no. go, well, you listen to the English dub of it? That's not really that, watching the show. You know what, People actually, no, you're right. People, People do say that kind of one. stuff. Like, actually do get... Like, whoa, you're not a real fan. Of Those people have too much time in they, their they day. Too much time. And you know what they need? You know what they, they should be doing? Watching anime. <laughs> or listening to this podcast. Or listening to this podcast. They should definitely. be listening. That, that first. Podcast first, then they and should be watching watch anime, anime. Rather than bitching about other people watching but anime. Here's the issue. Yes. Here's the issue. Go on. Right, so you've invested in these characters. Yes. With English voices. Yes. Um, you know, with a certain character, because voice actors will bring their own personality to the character, right? Yeah. And, you know, so, more so for Hunter x Hunter, the English voice actor, I guess, had more maturity mm. uh, in the way they portrayed Gon, who is the main character. Yeah. Um, and then, I think, I, I personally feel like there was more comedy in the English dubbed as well mm. mainly because I'm not reading it through so it's yeah. just you know just catching the jokes a little bit more yeah and, and then, you get the timing and stuff like that differently because it's yeah yeah because it's it's you just, understand it well enough to you can't yeah. necessarily read in the same comic timing as you can exactly, in hearing it exactly exactly that so when you're reading it you're concentrating more about reading the full thing to make sure yeah. you put it in um, so yeah when it changes the sub it really changes the dynamic of the whole thing it doesn't make it bad. It doesn't make it shit because obviously the animation is still the main thing as well. Like, you, like yeah, the storyline yeah. is obviously a big thing, but I, I like looking at and anim- the animation style. Yeah. So fair enough, I'm still gonna watch it. But damn, man, like you know, it's like I don't know. It's like investing into something or like maybe you're reading a book, right? And then halfway the book just changes languages. Yeah. And it's like, what's what's going on here? Well, that's not entirely the same. It's not entirely the same. Because if the book suddenly changed languages, you wouldn't be able to read the rest of the book. <laughs> no, but they've got the English translation if, underneath if, it. If halfway through still... the book, it became an audio book. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Or no, the other way around. No, no, you no, got half an audio book, book and then, you then read the halfway through the audio book, it was like, you got to read the rest, mate. You're on your fucking own from here. Yeah. I've given you half the story. The rest is your own. The rest is you to run with, yeah. Yeah, no, it's 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 um it's annoying, man. It's it's and it's, I don't know if it's annoying is the right word. It's just really 
it makes my anime yeah. experience and the thing that gets me the most about sub I like sub anime I actually feel like with most things you should probably listen to it to, in its original language and get the subtitle like you know you're getting more of it anyways like it, just, just respect it in that sense but like I want to be able to do like I usually put on stuff to do other things yeah. you know to be on you my laptop you don't need to be reading the screen exactly I feel like it, it literally does then take my time away yeah. if you got know what I mean like I don't know if I want to sacrifice like five hours of my day. I shouldn't be watching anime for five hours. Yeah. Straight, but, you know, life, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, You're going to be doing something. You can't yeah, sit there in exactly. silence and work. Yeah, but Jeez. Can you imagine that, man? Actually just looking at my work and getting it done. Unfathomable. Off. Like, I don't know if people like that exist, to be fair. Uh, but, yeah. I sure hope not. Jesus. Um, things will be getting accomplished if I was going to throw in my two cents to this yes. not that I watch masses of anime no. I watch some anime Yes, I am entirely in line with what you're saying I like subbed anime Yeah, both because I don't want to have to read in case I'm doing something else sometimes I'm yeah. writing yeah. while I'm watching it also, if I'm reading it all the time, it kind of distracts me from watching from it. From actually enjoying it, yeah. Even if I'm not doing anything else, I just feel like I'm looking at text rather than what's happening all actually, the time. yeah, yeah. I would also say that, like you say about having the comic timing, I think there's the portrayals in the English ones are things that I understand more than the Japanese portrayal of the characters. Yeah. Like, why they're doing the voices in English when it's just typically American voice actors. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand it. Because I think the reference points match up better with me than Definitely. Japanese ones. I would yeah. actually say I often don't really like the Japanese ones. Because really? I find them quite over the top. Yeah. Like you know what? The, a lot of the female characters are either very squeaky and shrieky or very dark and moody. It feels mm-hmm. like it's one of those two extremes. And I feel like the vast majority of male characters sound like they could be voiced by the same person doing yeah, like yeah, a dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having a bad day, boys. It's really weird in, in um, Hunter x Hunter, like uh, like um, one of the main was, was it Karapuka Kara 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 Yeah, whatever his name is. Um, literally in both the dubbed version mm. and the um, sub version, yeah. the voice actor sounds like a girl. Um, there's even a bit where like he goes on the cover as a girl. But it's a guy. And Using it to his advantage. It's just so like, man, what's <laughs> going on? But you get that in a few animes, actually, where the guys look and sound like girls. Yeah. Cool. Well, you yeah. Know, it's normal. You get that in real life. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's kind of, that's, yeah. I would say if, like, it's bad voice acting in the English dub of it, that you would do be get some, putting, yeah, but you do That get would be off putting. And I have watched anime with, with dub, but, like, yeah. um, was Elfin Lane did English? Definitely. Was there an English dub of that? No, I don't, I, I don't recall that. I I've watched that anything. a couple of times. I don't. Uh, I feel like I've watched that subbed, but I feel also feel like I've. Hmm. I can't remember. I feel like I've watched that both ways. So does. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely prefer English voice uh, voice acting in English. I like the take on it. Typically, yeah. I find it more enjoyable, and I find it easier to watch. Now here's my because I feel like I could just watch it. But it's I just think, there. I think play. in general, I actually do prefer subbed. Mm. I just it's just when I want to get things done, and especially yeah. where I've like started watching something and dubbed, <clears> it annoys when it, when you can't find any more dubbed versions. Yeah. But if I so like say One Piece, I started One Piece purely subbed. Yeah. And I've like what I've I've watched a dubbed version of it, and I've also watched um an alternative subbed version where it was just different voice actors and it's so weird yeah. like again it's the same thing if you've invested in these certain characters you get to know their voice you get to know that you know the dynamic of that character hmm. in that voice and then when you change it it's just like <laughs> yeah it's it's, it's it's it just throws me off but I personally like to start things um, in subbed if, if it's like if I know this is a long term commitment I would probably, unless I know all of it has been dubbed over, I would probably start in sub just yeah. to avoid that situation. It's just with Hunter and X Hunter, I thought, you know, it's been it's been a while. It's kind of already out now for a bit. Yeah. We'll go through it. But yeah, I, 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 even like if I'm watching um, like old Kung Fu films, I would prefer it to be, especially actually with live action films, I would prefer sub to, to dub mm. because there's, 
dubbed acting as usually. It does matter as much in Kung Fu films, though, does it? Because I feel like the bits when they're talking, there's not really much going on. It's not extreme So it content. doesn't really matter if you're no, reading yeah. during those. No, yeah, it's not extreme content. But there are but... a lot of shows that I've watched that are in other languages that I feel like especially like dramatic films yeah. where it feels like it's ruining a lot of the tension the fact that I'm having to, I read, to read it because I feel like I'm ne- not necessarily keeping up with the pace properly like I watch a lot of Japanese films mm. um, there's French films like La Haine it's really dramatic really? and then it's just like I enjoyed this whole no so did I but like, it's, right. it just, I just feel like at times in it this... I feel like I would be keeping up with the pace of this and what their intent is yeah. much better if I understood what they were saying. Straight, well, straight off the bat. If it wasn't to the, my to slightly off timing of having to read it, yeah, I feel yeah. like it would have been better paced for me as a viewer. But at the same time, I don't think everything needs to be made for me as an English speaker. I don't think everything needs to be read for me. This is like my thing about I don't, I don't like that when English things get put on in America, a lot of them get remade and then have yeah, an American yeah, version. Yeah, it's yeah. like, we, like wa- we watch American the... stuff and yeah. it's like, we learn your reference points. Yeah. If you want to watch an English show, learn our reference points. If there's something that you don't get, doesn't really matter that much. Like there are like references in American stuff that I don't necessarily get. And I think it should go yeah, both ways. They yeah, should, yeah, of course, yeah. They should either learn the references or it doesn't matter. I don't I mean, think everything needs to get remade because a lot of it gets made a lot worse. <laughs> I know they're more important to us. Yeah, they're more important they, to us. They're more important than you, us. Did you not? Did you not know that the whole solar system actually revolves around America? They are soul. They are soul. Yeah. Soul Our America. Soul. I said they are soul. No they're offense. They're no, that's rude. <laughs> Don't be mean. I'm not being mean. You were calling them our souls. I, I was not. <laughs> I was just you saying. You took that out of context. I was just saying. I was making that joke. Revolves but... around America. I mean, no, I but I'm sure a lot of people that probably listen to this are the kind of people that probably agree with us. That's if, they're <laughs> listen, if they're listening to a media podcast, they're probably the kind of people who are going to go, yeah, no, I agree with you. I'd probably rather watch... The yeah. original version of it because it kind of gets bastardized when it gets remade and you take out what was no, no, it's true. especially when it's a point for point but, remake. Um, like, have you seen the hideous American in betweeners? I'm not a huge in betweeners, there is an American remake and they oh. literally follow the same storylines oh. and just none of them work. No, they won't work though, no, because exactly because, because it's, it's a very English show, really, yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. English, yeah. So, like, that's yeah. Just, that's ridiculous. Um, okay. Have you seen that the um the Americans remade um Sherlock as well with their own no uh they Elementary Ele- I've seen Elementary yeah, 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 yeah. that's not a remake of Sherlock though is it that's well, a separate it's, Sherlock it's, it's, show it's just they also show Sherlock Holmes, they yeah, also show the Sherlock the BBC Sherlock in America on BBC America okay, they have both so versions they, like both we have versions, both versions. Yeah, yeah. We don't have more versions. It's not really. Yeah, we do. Here. Where's where's it's on where's... Sky Living? Uh, I think I watch it. Scare my sky. I like it. Yeah, it's all right. Like. I think it's all right. I think it's all right. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not amazing, but it's... it's... Johnny Lee Miller's really good at yeah, as Sherlock. Yeah, I yeah. might actually prefer him as Sherlock over I uh, Benedict him, Cumberbatch. I prefer him uh, over I, I like season two. He's quite broken. Compared to Cumberbatch's version of him... It's not Cumberbatch who's decided what the character's like. It's Obviously, how he's written. Yeah, 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 but yeah. Um, the Cumberbatch Sherlock is a bit more... I know everything. I'm like a supercomputer man. I can yeah. see everything that's happening in the world. Yeah, yeah. And Johnny Lee Miller's yeah. one's just like, I'm smart, a bit weird. Also, I'm way too drugs at any fucking moment. Mm-hmm. Literally, with with the uh, Cumberbatch Sherlock, when he goes to do drugs, it's just like, oh, okay, he's doing drugs. Yeah. With Johnny Lee Miller's one, I feel like at any oh, moment, yeah, he yeah, could yeah, just yeah, start yeah, doing drugs again. again. It could all go wrong. I yeah, care yeah, more about the yeah. fact that he might you do, do you drugs. Do. He's, he's got more of a human. I thing. feel more worried about him yeah, yeah, but I he's I less liked, omnipotent. Than I liked um, season one Sherlock. As well. I, I like I like season both, one. I like both series of it. I do, I do. But season one of um, Sherlock is possibly one of the best films. Um, and I, I'm not sure whether I prefer the subbed or the dubbed version of Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, 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 we have strayed. We strayed big time with that uh, one. Uh, about, um, <laughs> more like localization. It became about than. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sub versus dub. But yeah. Don't remake my shit, America. Um, no, you you can, but don't make the same thing. Yeah. Like the reason why the American version of The Office works 
is because really there was only one one season of The Office. They did that and then went past it. Yeah, yeah. They, and it's yeah, its own yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. That's why their version of The Office is really good. And then characters. They tried to remake. Yeah, he's a different character. Yeah, yeah. He's like he is a Steve Carell version of him. Yeah. He's not Steve Carell trying to right. be Ricky Gervais. Exactly, yeah, yeah. That's why it's good. They remade uh, the IT crowd. Did they? Yeah. And For fuck's it, sake, get the old shows. It had like decent people in it. Yeah. Like, um, I feel like the guy who was Ross was um, Joe McHale. I think it was the guy from Community, like the main guy from Community. I think oh, it was him in it from memory, and it still had Richard Ayoade in it. Oh, really? It was fucking dreadful. <laughs> it was horrible, even though it still had Richie Ayoade. Oh, well, it? Because just something's wrong with it. It's it, just it like just didn't feel it right. doesn't fit together yeah, the yeah, same yeah, way, yeah. and it just feels like if you really like this show enough to think we're going to invest money in remaking this, just put it on. Yeah. Just if you think it's that good, just show the show. I'm sure there are plenty of people who are going to like it still. Yeah. The same way we watch loads well, of American yeah, stuff, well, and there's Italian money. stuff that gets shown here with subtitles. Going back oh. to that. Um, that people just watch. There's a lot of Scandinavian dramas. Actually, we do remake Scandinavian dramas. Like, we rip off Scandinavian things. Really? Wallander. Um, oh, what? but that's that's the all, tunnel. That's Norwegian, though, isn't it? The tunnel. No, we've shown the original versions as well, but then also yeah. remade them. Really? The tunnel and the bridge are the same the show. They're the same the show, but we have the tunnel. Their one was the bridge, I think. Ours is the tunnel, and it's one. the Channel Tunnel. It's it's uh, France and. Yeah, uh, England. Then. Whereas their one, I can't remember what it was. But yeah, I think we remade what, that. What, yeah, one of those definitely. But that one is a bleak show. Uh, I've, I've seen it. approximately three episodes of that, yeah. and then one he kicked an Alsatian to death. Wow! I want to watch it, but I'm not sounds, prepared to watch yeah, it. Yeah, man, that's that sounds a bit gruesome. <laughs> let's <laughs> that's, that's, that's let's go back to anime. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, Why is he kicking a doctor? Like, I can't remember. Oh no, it was like an attack dog, but it was just uh, still really bleak. Yeah. You say that you said earlier that you feel like you should watch the subbed version because you think it's more like respectful to. It's authentic. It's, yeah, I get the authenticity, but I still think, you, as a viewer, yeah, watching it in a language that you understand just make, works yeah. better. Well, I think again, the way that you receive it is though, with better. translations you lose quite a bit. That's as well. true. I mean, you do like. With anime, you get this a lot. You do lose quite a mm. bit of the story, like the, like not not majorly key things, but just little pointers and stuff like like. So um, one thing you get with subtitles is if they make like a cultural joke or something like that, yeah. they would usually have like a like an extra bit on top where they'll yeah. tell you about that Explains cultural. It. Yeah, yeah. With dub, they don't really do that, or they won't. Even no, they just pick change what the, it is sometimes. Yeah. So it's like, like in Pokemon, they've done that and changed what it is. And yeah. It's kind of seamless, you don't really notice. You don't notice, but when you do know when you're missing, what you're missing out on, like if you've seen, so if you've like watched one dub version or something and mm. you see like the sub version, you're thinking, oh, actually, you've not I mean, learned the thing as well. I think it's kind of nice to learn about the culture. Yeah, right. Like, there there is a lot of. Um, it's even little things. I don't like in Pokemon, they go, talk about having like. Um, Donuts and stuff like that, and they're clearly holding rice balls. Yeah, yeah. Like I feel like I'd rather in it's the English rude. dub them still say still, that's what it is, well, you won't get that and you learn about the culture because you know it's a Japanese mm. show. So you should at least be able to. But actually, you know what? When I first watched Pokemon, I didn't, I I didn't make the anime link. Once I watched it, when oh, I was neither did I. Did, I. Exactly I was a kid. Control. It was yeah, just exactly. a cartoon that was it's on. Just like exactly that. But because the which I magically caught like the first episode of no second episode of. And then I went to school the next day and was like, God, did you see this thing? There was a caterpillar and he was trying to catch it and shit. And everyone was like, what the fuck are you on about, champ? And then Not everyone fair, started so. liking Pokemon yeah, after that. Did, did you, are you trying to say that you brought Pokemon into, into, into school? my school? Okay, sure. I cost people a lot of money okay. on pieces of paper. Pieces of paper, man. Glittery cards and... That's my uh, uh, claim to fame <laughs> of destruction. <laughs> I brought Pokemon to a school school yeah. and then... Ruined everyone. <laughs> That's all your. No, I just adventures. I just remember coming in and talking about it, and everyone being like, "What?" Yeah. But yeah, I did just think of it as a I can, I can cartoon. imagine that has been an odd thing to explain to people. Yes. Um, <laughs> so there is like animals, um, and like you throw a ball at them, and they. Um, <laughs> there was this kid. He got ball. his balls out, and he was <laughs> yeah. putting them in this caterpillar's face. <laughs> what are you watching? 
And that was before the internet, so I would have had to found that in the forest mm. to see that kind of filth. That's, that's well for him, man. That big forest got fucked, <laughs> poor, poor, poor mags in the forest. <laughs> It's um, the traditional way to find porn as a child. Well, it's just look for magazines just find that it. are just discarded. Just, just discover it. Yeah. Do you know what? I've, I've discovered when I was in school. I discovered porn. <laughs> you, I, no, as in you, I was walking you down you the road. Discovered a there porn. Was, there was a porn magazine, and I was like, "Oh, hello." Yeah, I, <laughs> I, think, I feel like that happened when I was a kid as yes, well. Just and you're going to go, "Well, yeah, that's that's pretty." Probably cool. covered in jizz. Uh, oh man! Think I mean, about that now. I was thinking it was just because it was raining that day. Wow, why, can, why can't I look at these other pages? They're all like They're stuck all stuck together. together man. Yeah, but um, back to it. I, I, so I'm not normal. Okay, I want to go and watch this anime um, situation. I would probably start watching it sock. Yeah. Because, like, I want to get a full story about it. But if I'm just putting on an anime to be in the background, yeah. Um, Something that is just oh, someone said, oh, you should watch this. Maybe you like it. Yeah. I if there's a dumped version just to see what it's like. Yeah. If yeah. there's a dumped version, I'll probably go for that because I could do stuff in the background. Yeah. But that's usually if I feel like one if it's already finished. So if if the mm. whole that whole animation is finished, if that all of the seasons are done, I'll go dub. Why not? I could just yeah. that that could just if run you were the to whole rewatch a show that you've seen some, would you maybe watch it dubs? Um, just to see what it's like After you, if it's a show that you like and you'd watch it again or would you go I, I, like, I liked it like this so I'm going to watch it the same way I would do the opposite way they were like or if you if, liked it subbed you might watch it again dub um yeah yeah basically yeah. basically yeah if, if wait yeah wait I think I've just confused myself yeah I'm a little confused because they're two yeah. similar sounding words yeah if you've watched it already oh no no if I've watched it already subbed I probably won't go back to watch it dubbed but if yeah. I've watched it dubbed you might if rewatch I, it. If I want to rewatch it, I would watch yeah, 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 Just yeah. to see what the, it's like with the different voice yeah. actors, because you already know the story, so you I don't need um, to look at it. I think I've done that with, uh, what did I do that with? Um, what's Death Note? Hmm. Death Note. I've watched that sub and dub, yeah. actually. So. There's a lot of anime that I want to watch, and to be honest, I do get put off if it's only yeah, subtitles. This, yeah. Because my personal preference is for it dub. You've not seen Death Note? No. Um, but... It's not just because I'm working it, it's just like, that's what I prefer. Yeah. So it does put me off sometimes. But I feel like it shouldn't. I just feel should like it's it, hard to commit to reading you're, a you're show. You're just a typical English person, aren't you? I like it's American not... cartoons more anyway, typically. Oh, yeah. I like I, I've said this before, I will just end up watching Danny Phantom. Oh, yeah, it's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine going from, like, Naruto to Danny Phantom. Oh, I wouldn't watch Naruto anyway. Nah. Really? It's not. I don't know. What I've, 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 I mean, also, like, it's too long. It's too it's long. I can't commit long, to man. that. It's, it's I can't commit to seven thousand episodes. Hasn't even finished yet. Imagine yeah. this. Like flipping out. I'd rather watch a shorter series. But I think because yeah. we're, we're going to wrap up this. But I think what we can take away from this is what you're really saying is the only true way to watch anime is to learn Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if, you, if, you really get, committed, if you want to really get you really want to get the authentic version of it with the learn proper Japanese voice Japanese. acting and you don't want to read it learn Japanese, learn Japanese. you learn. fucking and then lightweight you can get your work done um, watch anime and then also be smug about being bilingual yeah boom yeah that's three birds in one stone and you can also be one of those douchebags that are like, <laughs> I speak Japanese and I watch anime. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's... I know everything about, about Japan. Yeah. I love Japan. Oh, it would not be that guy, though. I mean, just because you can speak the language doesn't mean you know everything about the culture. Like, I speak a bit of Japanese, therefore I understand the geisha. Um, I've met those people before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I speak I'm not a fan of them. <laughs> um, let's take a little break there and we will come back with another category Woo-shoo. see you soon don't stop this to watch anime come right back immediately don't leave us ever Whoa. it's a wonderful waste of time okay and welcome back so let's go back to the wheel and we'll find out who's talking next you ready? ready to span that thing? go Stop. You again? What? Yes, you got to do a double. I've done two. I've done a double double. double now it's your double, time to double, do a double. double, 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 double. So let's find out what category you're gonna do. What would it what be? Would be? And go. 
Oh, demonic. Are you possessed for this one? <laughs> Your mother sucks cocks in hell! <laughs> <laughs> this is unfathomable. Uh, anime, isn't it? No, it's anything. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> How have you had anything <laughs> twice? Seriously. So I get to go for anything. I had um, fucking the same thing twice right, last time. Right. So you have a choice of anything again. Jeez. If you are yeah, unwilling are to pick, I can spin the wheel. Are we going to spend another six minutes of me just like No, we rambling. are motherfucking oh, not. Whoa, it's not even a language. Otherwise Jesus you're going to be Christ. fucking um, possessed again. Extra um, style. Uh, can we... Can we have, you, have, you got, have you got a view on um, Biggie vs. Tupac? Have you got like a... Have I got a view? Yeah. On Biggie Only that Tupac. it's a like... really weird argument that a lot of people seem to not understand at all in the slightest. Yeah, okay. But well, do you... Do you we uh... can talk about it. You can have an opinion about it. Yeah. It's your category. It's all you me. Pick. I'll right. throw in my I'm, two I'm, cents. I'm going to go with Biggie vs. Tupac. I don't think it's the... Um, I don't think it's actually the biggest hip-hop beef... Um, I think it was just over glorified. It what? did end with both of them dead. Like, yeah, no, no, of course it was like notorious in that sense. But hey, that's like. I'd say that's a pretty big deal, man. I, I don't know about the you. the politics behind it. I mean, like, song wise, you know, they, they didn't have enough, they didn't have as much song as, like, say, Jay Z and Nas going back to back, or um, even Drake and McMill's going back to back for each other, you know what I mean? Like, or oh, even, like, I'll I'll even real 50 Cent and Char Rule. I don't know. It's a lot of rap beef. No, of nor course. do I care. No, you shouldn't as well because it's bullshit. But <laughs> theirs was theirs was like theirs it, is the most famous. It was the most famous because it it, it was the first time where it like it was it was, it was also an the actual two media fair biggest rappers in the world at, um, the at that time. But or maybe I, I think was it at that time or was it sort of after? After because of it, it. it was because of it. It, it was probably because, helped promote their and, careers quite a lot. The beef oh, itself. Oh, sorry, they're both dead. So I want to keep bringing that up. But yeah. well, no, the beef itself was was just kind of you know. Well, it, supposedly it, it, dead. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, two two packs definitely somewhere just sipping some pina colada and laughing. Oh, he was on stage a couple of years uh, ago. They said it was a hologram. They said it was a hologram. The real well, guy. Too real. We looked too real. Yeah. But it was well lit. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's it called? Um, it was. It, I think it was just um, the record labels kind of taking a step too far. Mm. I feel like they saw an opening, hyping it up, hyped it way it up, way up, in their man. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I personally feel like if Tupac really is dead, should Mac killed him? Um, but this isn't about the beef. <laughs> this is this isn't about the beef. This is actually about the music, right? And uh, I will just come straight out. I'm a biggie guy, but there's 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 reasons yeah. behind this. There's there's real reasons behind this, right? So let's look at Tupac, right? His so, mum was. Let's, let's just quickly, before you go into that, yeah. explain slightly the beef itself. Just, the beef. The, okay, all right. So the, I, don't, I know you don't want to talk entirely about the beef, but you have to kind of say that part of it is it was like a coastal thing. Yeah, 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 was, yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, Tupac that, was. Is he from California uh, or is it just that's where he kind of made his name? That's. I think that's more where he made his name. So that's, that's not. No, that's not necessarily where he's from. I don't think so. I think. He, Whereas Biggie is actually from Maryland. No, he's yeah, from Brooklyn. Queens, he yeah, talks yeah, about yeah, on his yeah, way to yeah, Maryland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, that's just a lyric. Same, era, same area as like Nas and uh, Mob Deep and all that area. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Wu Tang Clan. Yeah, yeah. Um, same, same, same kind yeah. of that that area. Um... It was also the two biggest labels at the time um, going on as well. Were so Death Row and Bad Boys. Um, Death Row being um, Kendrick Knight. So you had that, um, the, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg. That's the California one. Though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So NWA is that. Um, it's, yeah, there's sort of a thing in that, isn't there, with the with the gang rap as well. Um, yeah. NWA and. Wu Tang Clan are both for like a coastal divide as well for preferences. Yeah, so it's but not you know like a, it's not like a beef thing. I'm not yeah, saying like, like, no, just like they're considered like that sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of people still want to carry it of, on yeah, like that. Representation of that kind and of thing. And then just like I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, man. And fuck, they're like, we used to have the goodie bowl. That was yeah. our gang thing, and they were actually good. There's dark man. Love it. Oh no, I say they're actually good. Oh, all of them are good, but it was just like they were like a third party. They're just like. I we're here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're also going to represent down the side. genres, man. And just, just showing <laughs> yeah. people how music's made. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, yeah there's the coastal beef. They were from there. different sides coastal of the beef. country. Yeah, yeah. Um, they were on two of the biggest rap labels that were also on two different sides of the country. Yeah, and yeah. I think 
from like the record company perspective here, there was probably a lot of like, why have a smattering of people across an entire country when you can have everyone on one side of a country for sales? Yeah, well, no, of course, it, like it made sense. Money-wise, it made sense why the beef happened. Like, you know, it still happens now where certain apples are getting to beef before they, you know, drop a new album or whatever, yeah. or like when it comes to pop, it's still have some sort of, yeah, exactly. So it makes sense. Um, but obviously then we had like the two rappers themselves as like <clears throat> as individual powerhouses like they were both making um, waves within the industry Tupac more so after he died actually mm. like you know if you look at the remixes and all the releases yeah. that, that he's had there were quite a few like, things that weren't released yeah yeah and then, but I know also obviously with Tupac he was also an actor yeah as well so like he, you know he's he had those credits to him which made him more of a I'll say a household name, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. he had those that, that element to him. But, um, yeah, so these are two... I I don't... Personally, I don't think musically mm. they're in the same category. No. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, Tupac did... They're quite did, different from each they're other. They're quite different. Like, Tupac did, you know, make some pop sounding songs yeah. you know like California like yeah. California that's not necessarily no no it's, but, you know, but you know what I mean like it's, it's more that dance disco yes. vibe that um, yeah, it's more of disco yeah, 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 it's, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like a disco song yeah no obviously for, for, yeah, I mean that period if most films in that period if I say pop and hip hop it would be it was more disco after that was pop though after that, that well, I guess it would be more disco, the deeper disco pop didn't survive seven. into the eighties, so you can't say that it was still pop when too. No, it was yeah, that. but I mean they're, they're, but they're it's flipping kind of old a disco funk songs. Soul yeah, but they, they, they were flipping it. old disco songs anyways. Like yeah. that's that's what they were flipping for. It yeah? um, same with Biggie. I guess they were in that respect actually. They both did use disco samples, and they mm. were the first to really do that as a you know mainstream. We're going to come out with. Things people can dance yeah. with, yeah, commercially aware songs. Because people had been doing um, that since the eighties, well, since the seventies, since it was disco. Still, what? People what? In purely in rap, chopping it out. What? Purely in rap? Like, no, purely in rap. I mean, like as a concept of yeah, what well, sampling? <laughs> yeah, 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 sampling yeah, yeah, yeah. was yeah, way yeah, before no, of course, then. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. But I mean, but like, that's when it became bringing more that kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but. So and for that's me, even when the people that had started it had started doing more commercial stuff as well, but producing, not doing it on their own backs, like so African like, Bombata. Oh yeah, 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 like yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, but their style was still, I think, more the funk soul disco yeah. side things. So this like, is when that was getting yeah, popular. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. a lot of what Tupac was doing wasn't necessarily him doing that genre. It's just his genre had become popular. Um, with Tupac. I would say he he was still very rap heavy. Like his his message became popular mm. because he was quite a conscious guy. You know, like Brendan's got a baby and stuff like that. Yeah. Where he's touching on social issues. Yeah. and his mom was a um, his mom was a. He um, was he did become quite poster boy because he apart from it's like the Elvis thing mm. of like Elvis was doing music that other people kind of told him to do and he was in films and stuff like that yeah. and he got a lot of commercial success because he was an attractive looking man yeah, yeah. I think the same thing happened with Tupac as yeah. well he became quite poster boy because he was quite a pretty yeah bloke. yeah yeah um, you know like good looking guy could definitely claim the rough background but he was also well educated yeah. His mum was part of the um, Black Panther movement. No, was it Black Panther? Or the um... Yeah, yeah, I think she was part of the Black Panther movement. And mm. she was like um, heavily like kind of... She was a leading figure in that. So obviously he already had that background. Yeah. Now, so it made sense. You know, he made conscious songs. He was a switched on guy. He was uh, multi-talented. And he had a strong personality. Um, mm. And obviously his, he was a great rapper. And yeah. all his stuff sold. Fair enough. Now we look at Biggie. Like Biggie's not a good looking guy. He looks like a monster half of the time, I ain't gonna mm -hmm. lie. He's got the lazy high thing yeah. going. Um He does look very like, apathetic in most pictures of him. Mm, mm. Um He looks like he does not give a fuck. He does not give a happening. fuck, man. Like he look he, I mean half the time he looks like he's too twisted to like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like like and the lazy eye thing is just amazing. <laughs> like but um like, so he's not a great looking guy. Um he's Lyrically or I guess message wise, he's not really preaching like you know I guess the gospel, the you know the no. laws. Yeah, you know, he's not, and he's not particularly trying to fight for the betterment of the black neighborhood. It 
in a sense, I still yeah. I think like his old presence itself is strong enough. He more just but, talked about what he his life. He just kind of talked yeah, about what he did. Yeah, he it did. Was it, it was general personal. kind of yeah. It was it was it, it was more kind of his struggle to, um, towards it. But my thing, and this is why I think Biggie is better, um, or this is why I rate Biggie more in this argument, is one thanks to thanks to um, 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 Puff Daddy's influence. He very much focused on bringing that old disco sound into it. Mm. He very much focused on how the music sounds. I feel like Biggie was more musically inclined. I feel like yeah. the rise of Biggie was because he had a dope flow. Like, his flow is untouchable. Mm. Lyrical content you can just listen to, but there is something deeper in there. Whereas yeah. Tupac was like, sometimes you just feel like it's giving you too much. You know what I mean? Like sometimes Tupac was just too much. Where with Biggie, Biggie can still be profound and still say some pretty yeah, deep stuff. There are a lot of you know really interesting things. But he doesn't feel like he's layering it on as no. heavy as Tupac used and to. And it doesn't do. feel as preachy. And it, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't feel it. as it's, soapbox. You know? Like, yeah, and it, it, it's, it's the sound. It's it the feels flow. like he's making a point, but he's not got a point to make. Yeah, like, yeah, he's, oh, that's really good like, it, actually. He's, he's just saying what he feels, and it's important things. But he's not set out just to just say to make, Whereas with a lot of Tupac, I feel like... This is like, like the thing that a... you said about Nas before, where you feel like he feels quite preachy sometimes. It's like, yeah, like, Nas does feel quite preachy sometimes, but I, I, I kind of respect Nas's way of doing it. Yeah. Whereas Tupac, I feel like he just jumped so mm. much back and forth, but all the time he felt like he was the same guy, just kind of yeah. trying stuff. Even when he done hit him up, I was like, yeah, this is this is a diss track. It's sick. It's powerful, but I still don't, I still don't get just the raw grittiness in 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 Tupac. I just kind of get this kind of formulated guy who's trying a bit. You know, yeah. I feel like Tupac was always trying a bit more than I would have liked to feel like he was trying. Mm. Whereas Biggie just made everything look so f- seem so flawless. Yeah, um, and he had just an easy way of bouncing his flow. I thought it was a big part of that, yeah. where his flow made everything just seem so natural and so you know he's just he's just he's just he was able to it, carry a beat. His music sounds a lot more like he's just talking and it happens to rhyme. In, in a sense, in a he, sense, he doesn't feel like a performance always. Yeah, a lot of his yeah, music yeah, 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 just yeah, yeah, sounds yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. he's just saying things. Mm. It's just like a conversation a lot of the time. It, yeah, it is. It's, it's giving you. It's giving Which you. I like. Real I like that sometimes. Not from everyone. But I think that works for him. For him, yeah. For, especially for what he's talking about and how he sounds and his general attitude. For it to be more like a personal conversation. Yeah, yeah. Works for him. It does, it does, it does. And um, also, the other thing I like about Biggie being... For me, Biggie was actually part of the downfall of hip-hop. For the fact that he was one of... Not the one that started it, but he was one of the leading figures in this kind of bragging... Rap, yes. Um, like in, in, he, in that as much that, as he could talk about some really good things, yeah, he could spend a lot of the time just being, bragging. I've, yeah. I've got the riches. I've got the guns. You're, I'm fucking all the bitches. Like, he, yeah. you know, he did have that element to him. But even the way he did that, even the way he bragged, mm. was just lyric, so lyrically sound and so well yeah. put together that it's like. Yeah, this is a bragging track, but it still carries weight. Mm. Whereas Especially, Tupac just carried weight because yeah. he just used to say a lot of really deep shit sometimes. Yeah. Not to not to take away from some of his lighter songs yeah. that did work and were just good bouncy tracks. Mm. It's just there weren't enough of that compared to what Biggie did, and that yeah, yeah. I would so. say with like with Juicy, yeah, it is. It's a brag track. He is talking about look at all the things I've got, but he's doing it in a way that it's like these are all the things that I always had wanted. Yeah, but I didn't yeah, get to yeah, have them yeah. before. Now, um, now I've got money. I'm doing what the fuck I want. Juicy, I and mean, that's kind I, of I like that. That's yeah, the right yeah. way to do a bragging song, yeah, yeah, not just yeah, yeah, to be yeah, talking yeah. about the things that you've I got. Think, You're saying it for a reason. Yeah, one of one of the lines. Um, uh, one of the lines from Biggie, third, third verse. I mean, I, I I literally I think. All of every single verse of Biggie's of that Juicy song is so strong, but um, there's a line that just kind of sums it up where it's like, Birthdays were the worst days, now we sip champagne when we're thirsty. Yeah, 
Fucking hell. First day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Birthdays were the worst days. Now we sip champagne on my first yeah. day. That he is could, a, he that's could a have brand. that, and now the things that he wanted on his birthday are his normal life. No, you that's know what his I mean? Every day. Like, it's know, not just boasting about how well he's done, it's saying, I've. I've accomplished this. I'm, it's not just... It's not like when you have someone who was rich in the first place talking about how rich they were. Yeah, 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 like yeah, 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 yeah. When yeah, like we've, Drake I've talks about, this. like, that song started from the bottom. Yeah, yeah. I and it's like, started from the bottom, the bottom yeah, yeah, when yeah. you were a child actor yeah, who exactly. had shitloads of money. Yeah, yeah, exactly, And it's just like... Exactly. Uh, but then, but then, uh, then but that's what I'm saying about, like, even Tupac, to an extent, I thought was quite fake. Because... Yeah. What time did you really I think have? A lot of people put on like persona. Gee, you know, but he did. But like, let's let's face facts here. Tupac, like he went through, um, like the what the the art school route. You know yeah. what I mean? He he was a drama student. Yeah. In an arts college, he's got interviews he of them as a. He studied for it. He studied to be an entertainer, mm. and his whole persona dropped so much through yeah. his. Fame, these periods of fame. Because yeah. when he was a young star, when he was doing interviews from when he was looking to get into his filming career, yeah. he was a very humble young man. Yeah. Well spoken, respectful, very quite timid in a sense. Sometimes mm. he still had that bravado, but he was quite timid. And then you see him blowing as an individual rap star, and it's like he's a bit clued on. He's got that. You know, he wants to take on the system. They ain't letting me do this. They ain't letting me do that. Blah, blah, blah. And then, boom, death row. Yeah. Fuck everyone. Fuck bitches. Get yeah. money. Fuck, like, and it's like, that's not too bad. Yeah. That's not the same guy that was talking it's about. Like, like, he's very changing for the people around it, him. Exactly. Whereas with Biggie, I feel like the people around him had to accommodate his style. Yeah. They had to be like, rah, he's he got something deep. Let, yeah, and let's like, and Puff just knew how to work let's with him. Put like, together. Yeah. Mm. Let, let's bring your style out. Let's bring you out in this yeah. music. I, uh, yeah, I it's a bit different, but... If both of them were still alive, yeah, Tupac would still be the most successful of the two. I think... Well, I've compared him to Elvis before. Yeah. Um, I think that is kind of similar to how his career may have ended up being. I feel like he could easily have got on to carry on acting as well as bringing out music. Yeah, okay. And I feel yeah, like yeah, yeah. you're saying about him skipping to what was the people around him. Mm, like mm, um, mm. That, as to much fair, as it's yeah. as a personal thing, ain't necessarily a good thing. Yeah. Commercially... Dr. Probably Dre, would have worked Snoop Dogg, to his yeah, favour quite they're, a lot. Definitely have been a lot more than bad boys are doing at the moment. Um, or, or, or that period. No, not, not, not just that. Not just the label that he was with. I just mean changing for what is popular at the time. Oh, as much as a lot of people all. aren't going to respect that, it is going to probably make him more money. No, but that's the thing. I feel like Biggie done that better. I feel like Biggie came out with more enjoyable music. No, but I, I, was, I feel more... like that wouldn't have made him bigger, though. I feel like Tupac would have been bigger, but Biggie would have been more res- respected. I think that's what he is anyway. Yeah. I think that's what they are both anyway, but I think they would have carried on in an upwards fashion of where they are. I don't think things would have changed. I think Tupac would have always been slightly more commercial and slightly more... No, but that's the thing. I don't think Tupac around, was more commercial. Whereas I think Biggie is slightly more... People that are into that kind of music are going to like him more than too much. And I don't think the pop's going to come into it as much. I think it's other around. I think Biggie is more commercial. Biggie is able to make more... I think more people can listen to Biggie as a, just as a musician, as a, oh, mm. I really like what he's done here. Whereas with Tupac, I think you have to be a little bit more rap orientated. But if you to look at the it. stuff that they've done... Yeah. Like you were saying before about people accommodating to what Biggie wanted to do. Yeah. It was think, bringing things to his style. So he was always going to have the same kind of influence, whereas Tupac um, would change between stuff. No, no, no. So with, with so like, I may have worded that wrong. What, what I meant with that is they, what Puff done really well was he was able to bring out the best of Biggie in those songs. So when he accommodated to his style, because... It, like, j- just going off, you know, like, documentaries and even the film itself. Mm-hmm. When Biggie heard a lot of these beats, he didn't like them. 
because there were old songs, there were old kind of even juicy. He didn't like the sample yeah. because it's an old, but it he was like it was able to like because Puff understood him and because Big has been true to his kind of way of working. Yeah, they were able to produce something that brings out the best in him. But what's commercial? But yeah. still, but with I don't think Tupac, it's the same kind of commercial that would make you hugely successful. I personally much prefer Biggie. Mm, I'm yeah. not saying that I'm on the other side of it. I don't really like Tupac that much. I'm not as into his music yeah, yeah, at yeah. all. Like I've listened to his music, yeah, but, yeah, I, but it's not as... I don't routinely listen to it. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of his stuff is very eerie. It fits in with what was a lot of the music at the time was like. Uh, okay. Whereas yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. I feel like Biggie stuff is more genre defining. Yeah. Whereas I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. Tupac stuff is more conforming slightly to genres because I think he had a lot more production around him that would make it what was popular. Whereas the Biggie stuff, like you're saying about him accommodating to what Biggie wanted to do, it was like carving his own path. Yeah. In comparison okay. to mm. following it, I think as much as the style that we're talking about of what Biggie's had done mm. is what you want to be more successful is somebody that is just doing what they want to do. I don't think that necessarily is always true. I th- and I think having like the acting career and stuff like yeah, that Yeah, no, no, well Tupac's definitely... I think even now Tupac is outstanding Biggie. I think yeah. um, he's, he's definitely... But I think he's got more, more an offer as well than Biggie at the moment. Mm. Uh, Tupac's got quite a discography. But I still... I mean, and this is going off, um, this is going off actually more money, more problems. As like, if you look at the end, you know, the track, actually, no, California is bigger than that, isn't it? California probably has been played more. Yeah. they more money, more problems, which is, I would say it's a shame, but they're both amazing songs. Um, no, actually, no, you've got a good point there. You've got a good point there. I feel, but I do feel like more money, more problems um, coming out after, after their death in the yeah. millennium was actually more in tune with the time yeah like you know what I mean but um and with the events probably made it more poignant as well yeah 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 I don't know why. and it's Diana Ross <laughs> yeah it's still an old sample <laughs> yeah you know like it's, it's still yeah yeah like so um yeah but that, that's me like for me I feel like Biggie takes that um purely just for like you know, yeah he, he carved his own way he um he very genre defining you know like you said um and he's just a cool guy. Hmm. <laughs> like as simple as that. I think and he's, he's more got interesting. Some ridiculous lyrics, man. Like, yeah. I mean, uh, of course, Tupac has like extremely amazing metaphors and you know double entendres and all the good stuff, all the good stuff. But then Biggie will come with "Your Rain on the Top" was short like Leprechaun, and I'm like, fuck everyone else. Like, and it's a simple bar. It's a simple. I don't know. Like, if that that as an that as an example is simple. But fucking hell, was it effective? <laughs> like, like, oh man, all the dreams. So the uh, the thing that I say is like, I would have thrown my two cents when you yeah. first said about it. The thing I find really interesting is not really about them then or their careers. Mm. It's people talking about them now or when you see pictures of them and stuff like that up in places like yeah. bars or whatever. How often you see them together? Yeah. Well, because they, but they, they get presented like a fucking double act. Yeah. And they were on opposing sides and you see them so often, like portraits of them next to each other and stuff like that. So. And then talking about, people talking about Biggie and Tupac. Yeah. Like. Yeah, yeah. They were doing collaborations together. Well, um. Like. But they, they, they say it in though. a sentence like it's Eric B and Rakim. It's like yeah, yeah, slurred yeah, yeah, yeah. together like, what? oh, they brought that album out together, you know didn't they? Just you know before they killed like, each other. Well, um, not killed this, each other, this, you know. This, is the, this is the... Before this is feuding. The also, <laughs> until they both died. The shame of what their um, labels did to them is they were actually friends. Yeah. <laughs> like, they, they weren't they, as against they, each other they as really it was. Weren't. Like, they really um, were You know, so many accounts of both of them kind of yeah. Like, and I think in, uh, there's a song of Biggie kind of just being like, you know, this is a bit stupid. I'm not talking, yeah. we may have made that up a bit, but there, there, there's kind of been accounts of both of them. Saying that they Biggie didn't saying, actually like, this is just, have as much of a problem yeah. with each other. People around them were So, I mean, right, doing it so they should have. And it's a shame. I feel like if they really did get a chance to work at making music together, mm. 
they would have made some masterpieces. Yeah. Like, they would have made some great music together because because of the fact they've got quite opposing styles yeah. and they're big power. It would have been houses. quite interesting. It would have yeah, yeah. It really would have been. And then obviously, but you've got all the um, remixes that people have made after, like yeah, putting them together. Eminem made that um, that running running one. Um, Why am I trying to do this? I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Why am I running to be here? I'm just trying to. Ah, okay. Nah, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh, no, it's, it's it's a great it's a great song, great song. Um, Tupac comes first, and then Biggie comes after. Even that though. Because um, run from the police, picture that. Um, run from the police, picture that. Run around the corner, catch an asthma attack. <laughs> run and shoot back. <laughs> oh man, but, uh, like, if, like, and I can't remember most of that two pack stuff and that. So again, it's just yeah, big is more memorable, man. Like, and I think the jokes, like, just looking back at the bars I've just quoted now, the yeah. jokes in his, the jokes mm. in his bars are actually also quite a catching factor because he does make you laugh as well yeah. which is you have to enjoy it yeah, right? there are some yeah. things that kind of catch you off guard mm. that you're a bit like oh you I thought you were being serious yeah, yeah, really no, serious about somewhere and then you come <laughs> like that ah, yeah. so there we go Biggie. I suppose really to take away from this yeah the whole feuding thing public feuding is just kind of unnecessary it's, it's just petty. a bit it's petty I'm yeah. like, as, as, um, it's as, like when people argue on Twitter and they yeah, know yeah, people yeah. are seeing it if you want to argue just go and argue with each other is, or it's avoid like, each other like adults I mean like but I mean like you're rich like I don't I actually don't want to know that you're having a bad time yeah <laughs> like, I, I, you know what I mean like if you've got a problem with someone and unless it's like someone you have an opinion that someone else has done something wrong then I kind yeah, of get it. But if you're just like, like, I don't like that person, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, going to yeah. make fun of but them like, in front of people. I just think it's a bit When you're in a public eye, it's a little... I, I don't think it makes both sides of them look, look a bit, yeah, sad. A bit silly, a bit silly. It's, not, it's, it's true, especially like, just as a, as a whatever figure in the public eye. Like, yeah. you do, irregardless what your audience is, you do kind of have like a little bit of responsibility of showing human nature that mm. this is kind of, you know, how you should behave. But obviously, yeah, it's a bit silly to just chop the burdens of human nature and someone's because they're famous. But you do, because you know a lot of people are watching you are going to be following you in some sense, have some sort of uh, yeah. obligation to not be a total douchebag. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, and it, more ru- stars and it ruins the, the thing that you're yeah, promoting it, as well. It detracts from, it detracts from why you're actually... It, it's, yeah. it's part of why a lot of people think that Hip hop is all arguments and showing yeah. off because that's the things that become publicized. Yeah, because it becomes in the public eye. You know, it's going to become the public eye and you when you do that's it. What, that's why you're doing it. Focus one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, and then it's, that's it's what people pick up on rather than what you're doing that's good. Again, yeah, you know what? It's a shame, and it's a shame that we talk about Biggie and Tupac as a beef rather than as two individual yeah. artists that have just made great waves yeah. in, in hip-hop. So that, that's also... It's a shame that when you say, like I said about them being named together all the time, seeing them together all the time, mm, it's, the, it's the same that when you see them like that, it's not only shown like there are two people that are constantly together, mm. it is because of argument it's not it's because big, yeah, yeah. these were the two biggest rappers at the time they it's were because of the deaths yeah yeah no that, that's you're right that is actually a shame it detracts from the fact that they're just two amazing we're both rappers. really good yeah yeah, yeah. Where, whoever great, your preference yeah. is you can't really argue that the other person wasn't oh yeah good as well. well it would be silly to say it would be silly to say the other one wasn't equally talented i think it's yeah. very much down to preference with those two like yeah. uh, like a lot of music it is very much down to personal preference yeah definitely definitely um but yeah no props to both of them man because like even tupac on, in the film on the film side of things actually like mega props man because juice was a sick film <laughs> where's it justice was a great film like the guy was just ridiculously talented and that as as like a rapper poet actor myself and I have the same birthday as Tupac. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, June 16th, literally have the same birthday. <laughs> I have I have great respect for him. And I've, uh, That's I'm funny. Actually, um, I have the same birthday as Biggie. Biggie, do you? Please say you do. <laughs> I don't. Oh, I don't man. <laughs> oh, we, this, this could have turned into something. <laughs> <laughs> like, we could just start international beef. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Incarnate, reincarnated from Biggie and Tupac. Um, Eastern. 
East and West London, even though we're both from we were East London. We from <laughs> we're just, you know, people don't have to know that. It's not like they we went to the same sport or anything. <laughs> <laughs> we barely know each other. <laughs> Facebook post from seven yeah. years ago or something like that. <laughs> the truth comes out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that, that's actually that was a good conversation about um, Yeah. Um, that's a good place to wrap up then, right yeah. there. Um, do you have any shout outs you want to do? Uh, or any plugs of yourself? Yeah, I'm going to shout out. I forgot out. to plug myself in the last two. Uh, I'm going to shout out So Where You're Ahead of Them, um, SWAT team. Um, so Where You're Ahead of Them. So the SWAT works. We've done So Where You're Off Them. Uh-huh. So Where You're Ahead. So, so the Where You're Ahead is... of Them. So in a, in a kind of, I guess, colloquial way of saying of. So well, why do you not say of? You don't have to use every part know, of know, something know, to make know, an acronym. Know, like, so where your head of them still works. So where your head of I them. Know, I know you could just not still put the still spell there, swap. But so where your head of them, just to get you know get get that get that in get that. Um, don't question it. It's already been done. Sure. Uh, if that's how it's spelled, look like we we had do, we do actually had want. conversations about this. So please. Um, it's been established now. You can't change. Well, I'm saying can't change it. Let's reopen these conversations. Well, yes, yeah, happened. Just check it out. I wasn't um, there. So, so we neither had myself, them. NASA, or Elon Musk were there to talk about yeah, this. Yeah, well, it's not going to. You change weren't at our brunch. Yet. It's we like, had many a talk about whether NASA should well, be called National um, Aeronautics Space, uh, uh, whatever the A is <laughs> for at the end. <laughs> National American Space Aeronautic. I can't remember. <laughs> that's what that's what being the smartest guess. It is exactly there. Is aeronautics though? Yeah, yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Space I was just what? trying to throw an uh, yeah, yeah, there no, instead. No. You got so right you head, with it. So, so where you headed them? Um, that's uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram. We're gonna have uh, a music video coming out in the next month. Um, fun after this podcast, so it month is month after this, yeah, podcast. Month after this, this comes out. Um, so this will be like mid to end of March, so yeah, 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 perfect. Um, so yeah, this, yeah, this look will out be for it. late in this current month that we're recording in, yeah, yeah, so, you know, but this, this is happening right now, isn't it? Not this is Monday, totally. the, so are you saying it's going to come out in April? It'll be coming out in April, <laughs> and, um, and it's yeah, so SWAT team cash. Uh, and then we'll have another one called Cool Enough coming after. So it's a quick shout out, shout out to the man them and all that. That's that's the streets and all that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to plug yourself as well? Um, right into the maids. <laughs> Don't keep saying it. You can't keep making the same joke every episode. <laughs> just, for, just for the fact that you pointed it out, it's just it may happen. But we'll see. It. We'll see. Yes. Uh, Mr. Souls on all platforms Twitter, Instagram. Um, Twitter and Instagram <laughs> it's about my platforms that's as far <laughs> as I reach to be fair there you go um, if you want to hear more of me and watch us play some video games you can search for Renegade Pineapple on YouTube um, we're coming to the end of Crash Bandicoot at the moment and I'm trying to pick up what we're going to play next but who knows we'll see what happens you know Spyro um, we haven't done Spyro. We we might at some point do Spyro. I don't know if we're going to do it next. No, I'm no. trying to. I might start trying to push the idea of Sly Cooper. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, we'll finally get to another theme song. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just I can't think of anything off the top of my head to plug. If I'm honest with you, I feel like there must be something, but it's just not coming to me. We were talking about a lot of rappers. Let's, I'm just going to throw out an underrated rapper that a lot of people don't know who he is. Yeah. Uh, he's on Rhyme Sayers though, so he's on a pretty fucking big label, so people should know who he is. But Dem Atlas. Dem I really Atlas. Like, yeah, Dem, D-E-M, yeah. Atlas. Um, I really like his uh, Downer EP, and he did one over Doom uh, Beats as well. Oh, cool. And he's got something else coming out. But he's good, he's underrated, you should go listen to him. And we've got, of course, Fake Studio Art, Studio 3 Arts again, which is where we record. You can Studio search for them, they're on all the socials. And find us on almost all the socials, not Twitter currently, um, by looking for AWWOT or A Wonderful Waste of Time or AWWOT Podcast. There'll be links for it in all of our stuff. And like, comment, subscribe, follow, all that jazz. Give us a good rating on iTunes, write us a little review to let us how amazing we are, which is very... 
Tell me the best book you've read. <laughs> no, no, no. Common. Tell me the best book. End of question. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go, yeah. You don't I, have to read yeah, it. Yeah, just I just want to know what is the, the best book. book. Simple as. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah. There we go. I love it. That's a great question for this week. Great and we'll tell you whether you, you're right or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, know, we know what the best book is. <laughs> yes. Yes. We have the The chances of you getting it are fucking slim. It is a slim one. It is a slim one. But um, good luck, people. Yeah. Have a crack at that. There we go. Uh, write that in the comments. Tell us what the best book is and tell us your opinions of what we've been talking about. And what do you think on all these matters and such? Uh, we'll see you next week for some more where we'll be doing a top five of something or other. Not top six, not top four. Just not five. Not t- top five, just right. Just right. <laughs> see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. It's a wonderful waste of time.